Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to springtime in Virginia. I bought myself a new lawnmower and uh, I'm gonna set it up today and I'm actually gonna do my first cut of the year. Last week it was like 70 degrees and beautiful. And today it's overcast and I think it's about 42 degrees outside so it's, it's pretty cold today. But uh, we need to get the first cut done. Anyway, today's video is me actually setting it up and then uh, I'm actually gonna go through some of the features. The reason why I decided to go ahead and buy this one and then I'll also uh, actually cut the grass here and I'll give you my kind of first impressions after using it here for the first time. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So this is actually what it looks like out of the box. It's mostly assembled. Mainly things that you need to do are get this bar uh, lined in here and then tighten it down and then uh, flip it all the way open and then actually assemble this. This is your bagger. Comes with a set of instructions down there. You put oil in it and, uh, and gas and you're basically ready to go. All right, so basically I get all the plastic pulled off of it now. Uh, it's mostly set up. The one thing that I did notice is um, it comes with this actually out of place. And so, so you can see right here, it has a little hole. We're gonna put this bar into that hole and then we'll put gas and oil in it and we'll do a quick overview. All right, now it's good. Not sure how good the audio is gonna be in here since I'm in the garage with the door closed. It might be a little bit echoey, so I might have to redo this audio. Uh, but anyway, let me just talk through a little bit about uh, the Toro Time Master and why I decided to go ahead and buy it. This thing retails for about $1,400. Um, it has two versions. One of them is a electric start and the other one is a pull start. The electric start is about $100 more, so it's $1,500 for the electric and $1,400 for the pull start. My local Home Depot only had the pull start in stock and so I went ahead and picked that up. Um, so if you want an electric start one, you might end up having to order it and wait a little bit for it to show up. This thing is supposed to save time, which is obviously why it's named the Time Master. Most consumer grade lawnmowers are actually about 20 or 21 inches uh, wide at the cutting deck with a single blade. This one is 30 inches wide with two blades, so I guess in a sense it's supposed to potentially save you, I guess, 50% of your time. There's been a lot of people and a lot of reviews that I read before I bought this that showed it actually saved people a lot of time, so I decided to go ahead and buy it. It weighs about 150 pounds, so it's a, it's a fairly substantial lawnmower. It's got a 223cc uh, engine. It's made by Briggs & Stratton, and they claim that it makes 10 foot-pounds, so it's supposed to actually do a pretty good job of cutting through really tall, thick grass, or if it's been raining and it's kind of wet, supposedly it, it, it's supposed to be able to churn right through this. Apparently the older Toro Time Master um, actually had like a 190 cc engine and there was a lot of complaints that it wasn't strong enough to cut through some heavy grass. So, so this is supposed to alleviate that problem. Uh, it's got a uh, push to control speed, which is really cool. Um, it, it seems a bit tricky to kind of get that going at first, but at, uh, at, once you get used to it, it's actually pretty nice. Um, and you can, cause I have a lot of hills here in my yard. So pushing it up the hill or having it just kind of stroll down the hill as it, it's kind of under its own power, just coasting. It's really nice to have that option. So that way it's not just one speed and I have to chase the lawnmower down the hill. The other thing that's cool about this is this start stop blade system. Um, you can actually start and run this lawnmower without having to um, have the blades engaged. So if you have a kid's toy or a, maybe a dog toy or maybe there's a stick in the in the yard somewhere, you can actually stop the blades and then go remove the obstacle and then go right back to cutting without having to un, without having to stop the engine and then restart the engine with the pull cord. So that's kind of cool. Another cool feature about this one is it's actually got a two-point height adjustment system, um, which means which basically just means you control the height of the deck. Uh, just at the front axle and the rear axle, which is really cool. 
Um, it's got seven different height adjustments. Uh, it goes height level A, which is the tallest, to height level G, which is the shortest. And the cutting is anywhere from four and a quarter inches down to one and a quarter inches, which is really cool. You have lots of different height ranges that you can dial it into your, uh, so you can dial it into your liking. Um, it's nice to be able to just do it in two points instead of having to go around and adjust all four wheels, which is really, really nice. Uh, it also has a washout port, which I think I tilted the deck up so I can inspect the blades and I looked at where the washout port is. It doesn't look like it's going to be really handy. Um, I might end up, if I get, if the deck ends up getting pretty clogged, I might just tilt it back over and then put my hand under there and dig out any grass that's stuck in there. Uh, washing it out may or may not be that helpful. Anyway, the, it's nice that they include that. Yeah, so anyway, this thing seems like it's going to be pretty cool. Um, it comes with a three-year warranty, which is awesome. I think most lawnmowers, I think most lawnmowers are about one-year warranty. Um, I guess for the price of this, it is fairly expensive. I guess for the price of this thing, it should come with a warranty that good. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm keen to actually get started on this thing and try it out and see how it goes. So I'm going to go outside and set the camera up and then, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut my lawn. I'll come back and give you guys my first impressions and uh, that's it. Let's go. mowing now for about 10 or 15 minutes or so and there's already something that's bothering me um, overall first impression is really good um, let me show you the thing that's bugging me right here I don't know if you can see that or not but right there on that casting of plastic this little tab is pretty much right where my hand goes and it's just shredding my hand there's one on this side too so I got my file and I'm going to file that off because that is bothering me. All right, something else. 
this thing is awesome it goes right at the speed that you want it to go it's really really nice that's super handy the other thing that I noticed is that this thing being pretty heavy it's actually not the engine that's heavy it's the drive system that's underneath it's right underneath these wheels so it's actually pretty back half heavy so it's pretty easy to tip it up you can just put your hand on here and then tilt it like this it's actually really easy to handle and turn around but if you're lifting from the rear to move the back wheels around it's really heavy right so lifting it up and moving it from the rear is a lot heavier this actually is really easy so something to keep in mind all the weight is basically over these rear wheels so far I'm really impressed this thing's doing a good job Well done now you can see the sun is shining quite brightly uh, but it is still pretty cold and the wind has picked up quite a bit anyway let me give you my final thoughts on my first cut with the uh, Toro Time Master so I used the three different modes cutting the grass today I started off with bagging and then I moved to the side exit and then I also did mulching but yeah this thing actually did really well um, after I shaved down the these little pieces of plastic that were sticking up, I no longer had any issue with my fingers get or with my hands getting scratched. So that was good. And I really uh, I really like this dynamic drive thing where you kind of pick your own pace as you go. That worked really well. Um, and also the start stop thing. As you can see, I got a lot of trees back here behind my house. So over the winter, it drops a lot of branches down in the yard. And so I had to stop every once in a while and pick up the branches and throw them out of the way. So anyway, you just basically let go of that handle and then I don't have to stop and restart the, the lawnmower every time. So that is really, that is really handy. Anyway, take a quick look at the yard. I'll walk you around over here to the front yard. So this looks really nice. Oh yeah, my cherry tree. I love this tree. It's like my favorite thing in my whole yard here. I had a video of me trimming this thing last spring. I'll put a link up here in the top so you can see that video, but it trimmed it down. It turned out really nice. Lots of beautiful flowers this year. So if you're thinking about picking up one of these Time Masters for yourself, I'd say it's a good buy. Um, it's fairly expensive, but it does a really good job. My whole yard took about 40 minutes to cut. So if the video was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe because I'll, I'll probably do a end of year video review on this to see kind of how things ended up for the uh, whole year. So if you're interested in that one, stay tuned. Uh, as always, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.